The Paris Air Forum was set up in 2014 to host debates, conferences and speeches involving the major decision makers and experts in the aerospace sector. It would normally look at the whole industry, new technologies, risks and challenges on green policy. But this year, almost all the focus was on how to claw back the lost revenue and passengers after a year and a half now of the COVID-19 pandemic. Willie Walsh was particularly critical of the way that airports are set up, calling for digital solutions, saying they are a must for the future. Our estimate is that at peak times you could have uh, up to eight hours of going through processes at the airport, both departure and arrival if you add it all up. And that would compare at peak times normally of less than an hour and a half. So you can see that uh, you know, airports have not been designed, modern airports are not designed for every customer to go to a check-in counter. So we have to be able to provide a digital solution. Both domestic and international airports have been affected by the crisis and airlines across the world have had to park their fleets. Plus the support services like catering, duty-free and engineering maintenance have all been impacted as well. The change in behaviour of passengers following the COVID-19 crisis with travel restrictions and the ensuing economic crisis has resulted in a dramatic drop in demand which is only now starting to rebound. All the major airlines in the world can only survive if they can operate through a hub which gives them connectivity and the volume of passengers they require. So I think that the requirement for travel by people is there, the demand is there, it's only the government restrictions that uh, is uh, impeding that growth, but I don't think that uh, the hubs in the Gulf will be affected uh, in uh, any time. The route back to a more positive financial standing for airlines is not guaranteed to be a smooth ride due to different countries' red, amber and green travel lists and specific quarantine obligations. But at least there is a brighter picture on the horizon with the vaccination programmes that are underway, which should give travellers more confidence to be able to fly again.